Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of the features or a few of the features in Microsoft Outlook that can help you to stay organized and on top of your calendar and your events that you have coming up. Now, everyone knows Microsoft Outlook is a popular email tool, but it's really much more than that. We can organize and manage our emails by creating rules and, and setting emails to specific folders. We can set and plan out events on the calendar. We can maintain our contacts and contact groups, as well as even create and track tasks. So today I wanna to focus on talking to you about a few of those features in Outlook that are gonna help you in scheduling and planning out your events on your calendar, as well as help others to understand what your availability is. And so they have an easy time in setting up events on your calendar as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so one of the first things that I would like to talk to you about is setting your availability. Now, you wanna make sure that you have your availability set up so that others are really only able to try and schedule events, schedule meetings, schedule appointments with you when you are in the office, when you are available, when you are working. So that is the first thing we're gonna take a look at here. And so once you have the Outlook desktop application open, you will go up here into the top left and select file. And then once you select file, you're gonna select options down here at the bottom. Now, when it opens first in the Outlook options window, it is gonna be on this general section here, and you can browse in this window and see the different options that you have but we are actually gonna go over, not into the mail section, but into the calendar section here of our Outlook options. So here in Outlook options, you have the ability to designate your work time or your work hours. So by default in here, we can see it's currently set to start my workday at 8 a.m. and finish up at 5 p.m working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, where the first day of the week is Sunday and the first week of the year begins on January 1st. Now, what if instead I didn't want my workday to start at eight, but I wanted others to see that my workday in fact starts, maybe my workday starts at nine. You can go in here and modify that as well. And maybe you work nine to five, or maybe you work nine to six. You can go in here and modify the settings so that now others are viewing your calendar or they're viewing your work hours accordingly. And so you will not be shown as available before 9 a.m. or available after 6 p.m. if these are the default hours that you are working day in and day out. Now let's scroll down here and look at the calendar options and take a moment to talk about the options we have here. Now, one of the other uh, popular options and popular uses of the calendar component in Outlook is the meetings option and the ability to schedule appointments not only for yourself individually on your calendar, but scheduling meetings that you can invite others to. Now, here we can see that the default duration for new appointments and meetings is set to 30 minutes, but what if that was a bit longer? What if you were really wanting a, a meeting time that was defaulting to one hour? Well, you can go in here and you can modify that now so that new meetings are gonna default to that one hour time slot, and then you can go in and shorten those appropriately. You can also select to shorten appointments and meetings, and you can see here you can end early. And so you can choose to end those early, less than an hour. You can add in that five minute buffer there or longer than an hour, maybe it's a 10 minute buffer. You can also go in here and modify the reminders at which you're going to be reminded of those meetings that you have. So by default, it's set here to 15, but if you wanted to modify that to be a little bit closer to, or maybe a little bit further out, so you have a little bit more time to prepare, you can go in here and modify that to 30 minutes or to an hour if that's what you prefer. So you can go in here and make those changes as needed as necessary for your calendar. 
So once you have those settings in place, then you can go ahead and select OK, and those settings will now be applied here on your calendar, and others will also see that as well. Now, one of the last features I wanna to talk to you about in today's video is the use of color categories to organize and manage your events in Outlook. So when you create and schedule an event and it is then added to your calendar, it's gonna be added and you're gonna see that default color there. But what if you really wanted to color code these events so you know when you glance at your calendar, when you have a meeting coming up with sales or when you have a full day of training or maybe even PTO that you're looking forward to at the end of the week. You can easily do that in here with color categories. Now, the way that you're gonna set up and to categorize your events is to select the event that you have. So I'm gonna select this event that I see right here, my 8 a.m. meeting that I have set up with my uh, colleagues here to meet and discuss new accounts. But with this meeting, I wanna change this here and go up to the categorize section. So with that event selected, I can now select categorize and then I can choose from these categories that you see I currently have set up here. I currently have a category for sales, for training, and for travel. Now, the meeting that I have set up to discuss these new accounts is gonna be with sales, so I'm gonna go ahead and categorize this so that I know that this is something that I have to discuss and to meet with my sales team. And so anytime I see those blue color category, categorized events, I know, okay, that's a sales event coming up, so I know who I'm meeting with and kind of what we're discussing or have a gist of what the discussion's gonna be about. Now, I have another event here, this 9 a.m. Power BI workshop, and if I open this up, this is a, a full day of training, and so I would wanna make sure a couple of things that I had in place, maybe that I included a meeting here for this, and in doing that, I would need to go ahead and invite the others to that training, go ahead and hit send, and then I would also wanna categorize this as a training so it's not set to that default color. So I'll go back up with that event selected, go back up to categorize and select that training event, and now I have that color that I've used to designate for my training events. Now, lastly here, I have this PTO event, and so I'm looking forward to the PTO there at the end of the week, but I wanna categorize that with a new color category. So we can go in to categorize and we can create a new category here now. So we could use one of these default ones, but we can also go into all categories and now we have the ability to modify a category. So I'd like to rename the purple category here instead of to purple, let's go ahead and rename this and I'm gonna call this my PTO. That way I know when I have purple coming up there on my calendar, I know I'm looking at some time off that I have to look forward to, whether it's vacation or time to relax and get organized at home or just time away from the office. But that is a couple of ways to go in and use the color categories and some of the other settings and features here in Outlook, like changing and modifying your availability and changing those default meeting times. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. It was a short one, just going over some of my favorite features inside of Microsoft Outlook for the calendar to get organized, to stay on top of events that you have planned and meetings coming up, making it easy for you to schedule those meetings by changing the default meeting time, setting your availability so that others know when you're available, when you're in the office and when you are not, just by setting your, your work time up there as well. So you will be shown as unavailable in those other hours before the hour you set as your start time and after the hour you set as your end time. And then using color categories to help you get organized on your calendar and so when you are looking at your calendar for the month or for the week, glancing over those events day by day, you can see and easily know what you have coming up in terms of what category based on the color that you've used to code those events. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But 
If you have not already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the videos that we post here at Pragmatic Works. If you're looking for more content outside of our YouTube channel, make sure to check the link in the description below to sign up for our on-demand learning platform, where we have lots and lots of courses available, some free courses that you can access free for life, and some paid courses that you can access on Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, Microsoft Outlook, the PL300, and many more. Thank you for watching. My name is Angelica Dominich, and I will see you next time.